So the Rock House is our local gym here in Logan. Um, I started climbing there in December and it's a nice environment because there's a lot of experienced climbers that really push you. There's bouldering there and uh, top roping and lead climbing. So that's every aspect of climbing. So indoor climbing is going to require you to have at least an ATC, a carabiner, and a harness, and shoes, and chalk. So an ATC is going to be called an air traffic controller by climbers. Um, basically it's a belay device that uses friction between the metal of the ATC, the carabiner, and the rope is going to feed through that. So when you tighten it down, the friction causes the rope to not be able to move. The carabiner needs to be a locking carabiner for safety and you need to have a harness with a belay loop and a cinching waist. And as far as shoes go, sh rock climbing shoes are usually just um, thick rubber soled with laces or Velcro and that just makes it easier to climb. Most indoor rock places will not let you climb barefoot so you have to have shoes. And then sh chalk lets you climb consistently without having sweaty hands. The more you climb the more your hands sweat and they get tired and chalk makes it a whole lot easier to climb indoors and outdoors. Climb on. Indoors, you get to climb a lot. You get to do it in a controlled environment so you don't have the wind or the dust or a lot of times when I go climbing outside we end up hiking out in the dark because it takes so long. So going indoors, you can go there for two hours and get twice as many climbs in than you would outdoors. Climbing indoors just sometimes feels kind of fake to me. Um, your creativity in climbing is kind of diminished. There is that aspect of like finding out the route, but there's only one way to do the route usually, and that's the opposite of outdoors. Outdoors you'll go up to a 510 lead and there's so many ways to do the route that people do it differently and there's different ways to try it, and if you fail one time you can always try a different way. So that's what I like about outdoors over indoors. Honestly, I don't know if I'll stop climbing until I physically can't do it. I'm going to be an airline pilot and I definitely plan on bringing my climbing gear all over the world and climbing.